Hi, I'm Zane, and you're watching Ten of Cups Tarot, the place where you'll find some of the most immersive, spot-on readings in all of the internet, and this is coming from a longtime subscriber of almost two years. Ten of Cups Tarot uploads new content weekly, and you won't want to miss out. Stay tuned! Hey, hello my Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Happy New Year to you. Thank you for coming here. Uh, whether you are here for the first time or you have come here time after time, I appreciate you. Thank you for clicking here. I hope that if you are new that you will subscribe. I hope that if you're new or come here from time to time that you will give me a thumbs up on my videos. That is how I'm able to be seen, able to grow, and give you these free readings. Um, thank you for liking and sharing and subscribing. If you are interested in the decks that I use, you will find a link down below in my description that will show you um, which decks I own and how you can purchase them. It is the Amazon.ca link. I will get 10% if you do purchase from that link. And if you are interested in getting a personal reading with me, please head on over to Wizio, W-I-S-I-O dot com. You will see down below in the description that there is uh, a code there for 10% off. That's going to be until about mid-February. All right, hey, here we go. I am using the uh, Fairy Tarot by Doreen Virtue, and we are doing past, present, and future energy, right? We're right on the cusp here of 2020 and 2021. Let's see what's going on for you, Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. We need three cards. Past, present, future, please. Past, present, future for uh, Cancer. <clears throat> Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So we have the star. Um, the star is the card of Aquarius, and just remember that we're not reading signs here, you guys. I know you like to hear me call out the signs, but we're reading energy, and the energy of the star is about looking toward the future with hope, with optimism, and, you know, having the power of faith and um, uh, wanting to heal, um, wanting to heal so you can move forward. Um, happy changes that bring relief from challenging times. So this is really what we want to see, right? Because what was 2020? It was a challenging time. The whole damn thing was a challenging time. So I feel like um, this energy is releasing you. The old energy has released you. And when you put your feet down uh, on the... Um, uh, on, on the floor on January 1st, I feel like there was a shift of energy that said, you know what? No, no more. No more of this bad stuff. Keep the news off. Stop looking at the news. Make sure that you're focused on who you are, what you want, and what you want for this year. Um, we have the star, which is a great thing to start out with. Hopes, dreams. Uh, then we have the Prince of Spring. Um, it is, uh, the Prince of Spring is... Um, Someone who takes immediate action. Um, someone who is, um, who can successfully manage life. Success, successfully manage passionate relationships. Now, whether that is a relationship with work or with an individual, it could be a family member. Um, when you, when I say passionate relationship, I mean you're passionate about that person. And it could be someone who is a cousin, um, a friend, uh, it could be a mother or a father, but it also could be someone in love. So let's keep moving and see what we can find here. Um, forward, going forward into the future. What do we have here? Please give us one more card. What do we have going into the future? Got one card sticking out here. And it is the lovers. Interesting. So major arcana card, guys. We've got two major arcana cards. What does that mean? Well, it means that you can't go around these things. You have to go through them. Um, the universe keeps these cards in your path in order for you to stay on your path. So this is something that you need to go through. You need to go through this healing. Your hopes and dreams are coming forward. Um, the success of spring coming, passionate things, loving life, being seen, you know, um, challenges that you um, are going to successfully manage. So it's not like life is going to be without challenges just because the, the uh, calendar flipped to January 1, 2020. Um, but you are going to um, have happiness and success in this year of 2020. So the lovers here is, you know, it's love that is long lasting, a choice that you make from the heart. So it is um, nece not necessarily someone that you are in love with romantically, but it could be someone that you have a lot of love for. Um, 
Uh, it says a, a return to good health as well. So it could be if you have been unwell in 2020 uh, 20, that your health is going to move forward and get better in 2021. All right. So I'm going to use the Wild Unknown Tarot for the first clarification. And I just want you to know that this particular deck, uh, this uh, illustrator, um, does not give reversal information in her um, tarot. So she's preferred that these cards do not be read in reverse. If they do come up in reverse, I will be flipping them into the upright. All right. Besides, we've had enough of um, negativity, I think, for a little while. Okay, so let's look at the star um, healing, uh, looking to the future with hope and with optimism. And there you are, right at the crossroads, right? Right at the crossroads, wondering what to do next. What should you what passionate path should you take this year? Should you be focused on love? Should you be focused on works? Should you be, what should you be focused on? You are at the, at the crossroads here and you have a choice. Will you go that way or will you go that way? And then we have um, the Son of Wands. And the Son of Wands is the Page of Wands. So again, good news, picking a path in passion, picking a new path in passion, um, actually, and something going with something that you're completely and totally passionate about. Now, I say something, it could also be someone. Um, but we'll come back to that and we'll clarify some more. So the Prince of Spring is like the Six of Wands. Um, Prince of Spring is... Um, you know, having um, uh, a, a passionate relationship, you you have challenging times, but you're able to deal with them no problem because uh, the Prince of Spring, oh, I'm sorry, is not actually the six. Actually, the Prince of Spring is um, the Page of Wands. So we have um, the Page of Wands coming up twice here. Um, the Son of Wands is the page and the Prince of Spring is the page. So we have... Um, is it though? Immediate action. No, you guys, it's not. It's um it's actually the knight. The knight of wands is what it is. Immediate action. I love that he's riding a bunny. <laughs> Um, immediate action is actually wands, right? So um it is one, two, three, four, five. It is um yeah, it's challenges you can successfully manage. I feel like this is the um the knight of um the Knight of Wands is what it is. Okay, let's clarify the Knight of Wands. What's coming in that's passionate? Um, immediate action needs to be taken here in this present moment. Uh, the challenge, you, you can specifically manage your challenges with no problem. Ace of Pentacles, because you're starting something brand new, something from scratch. You are going to take the bold stance of planting that pentacle and moving forward. And then we have the Mother of Wands. She is the Queen of Wands. She's great in business. She reaches out for whatever she wants. She's kind of a badass, guys. She moves into a space, into a room, and people turn their heads to look at her because they feel her fierce energy. They feel like she can um, move forward and take whatever she wants. And so people watch her to see how she moves, see how she works, see how she works the room. What is going on with this Lover's card here in the future? Lovers, tell me about the lover's card, please. What is this lover's energy here, please? Oh, thank you. Oh my, look at that. Yeah, the lovers. You know what I love about this card, though? Like, this card is adorable, right? You can see that they're making promises to each other, um, that they're they're going to love each other. This could be over an altar. So this could definitely be someone that you will fall in love with if you haven't already. But what I really love about the lovers here is that it's two geese. Now, um, geese are never alone. If you ever see a geese, a goose, um, this is a Canada goose, right? If you ever see a goose that is alone, that goose is sick and is about to die because um, geese don't leave each other. They are always paired up, always, always. And they're always willing to work with the other person in order to bring them along. Because, you know, when they, they, they fly in this formation, right? The guy at the front, that goose at the front is the strongest, the ones at the back are the weakest, and they will all move places in order to be able to let everybody rest. So this person is actually coming in to, um, to help you rest. So you're no longer worrying. You're no longer wondering. This person is someone who is the kindest of the kind. Um, they could be a Gemini as well. One more card, please, for the lovers. Clarify the lovers, please. There we go. 
we have the moon. You're a little bit worried about that. Do you feel that person coming? Cancer, you are one of the most intuitive in um, in the tarot. The moon is Cancer, right? It is Cancer and Scorpio. Sorry, it's Cancer and Pisces. But nonetheless, it's about going with the flow. Thing is, is you can't see everything that's coming up in the future here. So um, is it easy to block yourself from this? Absolutely. If you don't have the faith in yourself and you can't plant this pentacle to keep things moving, I feel like you're going to make your energy stagnant. I think we talked about this last year. Um, I think that you need to move forward. You must plant that pentacle no matter how nervous it makes you. This is the moon card is things that you can't see. Things are not as they appear. So the person that you think may be in love with you right now may not be. That person may be giving themselves to another. That person could also um, be thinking that maybe the relationship they're in with you is not the thing. Maybe you're thinking that. Um, but I feel like it is the moon energy that keeps everything quiet um, under the carpet. I think it's information that you're going to get at a time when um, the universe is going to be releasing it to you. I feel like it's divine timing. And this love that's happening here, this person that's coming in that's buttery and wonderful and um, is going to be a great talker, they are a Gemini. Um, that person, I feel, is going to be someone who is going to kind of sneak up on you or they are someone you already know. And they've just been hiding in, in the in the back. They've just been in the back, looking forward, watching you, seeing you, seeing the things that you do, um, and um, that you you really can't see them because they're kind of behind the trees, right? All right, let's go back here. Uh, let's talk about this path that you're on here. This path of of where to go. What sort of path are you on here, and why do you have to pick? This is a good path. This is good news. You were on the right path. You were doing the thing that you're supposed to do. You're doing the thing that the universe wants you to do. And that is with healing as well. Tell me about the Two of Wands, please. What can you tell us about the Two of Wands? Clarify what path. Which path are we on here with Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter? For the week ahead, what path is Cancer on? Cancer is on the path of shutting it down. I feel like whatever went on in this last year, that you're done with it. I think you're done with being passionate about things that other people are telling you that you can't do. You also might be passionate about things and telling yourself you can't do them. And that might be why you need this healing. So um, I feel like this world card is you're finally going to learn the karmic lesson. And so you're not going to go back and do that thing again. Do I feel like this has to do with a relationship? Yep, I do. I feel like it has to do with not necessarily a love relationship, but someone you're passionate about. So you don't necessarily have to be in a romantic place with them. But I feel like you are going to... Um, Sorry, just listening. Yeah. You, you are going to move forward because you're supposed to. This is your kick in the ass here, Cancer. This is your kick in the ass. <laughs> this is what you have to do to move forward. You've been pushed, quite literally pushed by spirit to this crossroads because it's time for you to get out of your stagnant energy. I know you've been afraid to move forward. Um, you've been hiding in the crab shell, afraid to move forward because you're scared of what might be down one of those roads. But the fact of the matter is it's good news. Page of Wands tells me that it is good news. You are going to learn something. You will learn a karmic lesson. And it's time for you to scoot on down the road. Ease on down the road. <laughs> the whiz, right? Ease on down the road. All right. And then we have Seven of Cups because that's where all your opportunities are. You've been hiding behind this world card for so long. You've been hiding yourself from the world. You have talents. You're lovely. You're kind. You're funny. You've been hiding yourself away from the world, which I think 
it's a little bit selfish, I'm just saying, because so many of the cancers that I know are so talented and lovely and intuitive, and I feel like you are scared to make a decision, and that's why you've been hiding behind the world card. But you know what? The world card is a major arcana card. That is the universe saying the, the divine timing is here. We're done waiting for you to make the move. It's now time for us to close the cycle, and because it's going to push you to what you need to go to. So this Seven of Cups here, you're going to come to a lot of opportunities here, and be careful careful what you pick because um, you're going to have to walk away from someone or something emotional. It doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship. I feel like you, you are going to find something that you love because you've been in this stagnant energy for so long. Just uh, I feel like I see you peeking out behind a blanket. Like you're just not wanting to face the world. And I don't know why, but it is time for you to get up and move along. And because you didn't, that is why the universe has given you this card. Oi, lots of changes. Lots of changes. I know you don't like change, Cancer. And that's the thing. We have um, the tower. And that's what happens when you are supposed to make the changes and you don't. That's when the tower falls in. It first comes as a whisper, then it gets a little louder. And when you choose to ignore it, shit falls in and that's it. You got to clear it away and start again. But it's the universe moving you because you wouldn't move, Cancer. Um, you're stuck in your ways and you wouldn't move. But it's time for you to learn a lesson and move forward because look at everything that's there. This is big changes, like super big changes. Things moving fortunately. You also have to get off your butt and push some of these wheels forward well. You can't just wait around and hope that it falls on you. It's time for you to use your talents. It's time for you to be kind and happy and get out and see those people. Make that phone call. Text that person. Um, it is time for you to move forward in fortunate circumstances here. Now, I am going to clarify this here tower because you know that's what I do because why else do you think that I'm, I'm reading cards here? I'm just a bit of a nosy woman and here we go. <laughs> I need to know what's going on with you, Cancer. Oh, look at this. So we have the Two of Cups. So um, I think that what, um, why the tower is here is because a relationship falls in. Something that was barely being held together. Um, my guides are showing me a picture of two boats, one here, one here, and there's the littlest string holding them together very, very tautly. I think they're about to move away from each other. The Two of Cups here tells me that it is love. So it's someone that you were um, having love with, but there's lots of fights. There's too much arguing and fights and you two to like stealing each other's swords and lots of sharp words being said and you're on again off again you're not good for each other this is a toxic relationship that needed to move and you wouldn't move it um, and so that's why you ended up getting the tower all right back to it let's go to this is uh, past energy by the way you may have just saying because you're so stubborn <laughs> in your ways cancer you may not you may be still feeling the residual energy here because you may have not um stopped that relationship yet that tower may have not fallen in you might be all yeah that's cool you can tell me there's a tower but things aren't going down that way but uh, you know Time is fluid. I'm just saying. Time is fluid. That tower can fall in at any time. Okay. So in the current energy here, we do have um, the Knight of Passion riding in on their horse. The Mother of Wands here ready to receive. And so I feel like passion's coming in. You are going to take the reins. Once you get out of this funk of losing this relationship, um, you know, you're going to feel much better without the arguments. But you have pentacles to plant. You don't have time to do this here. You have pentacles to plant. <laughs> it's energy. Good, positive positive energy. Pentacles. You want to make money. You want to be self-sufficient. You want to start a new business, start a new thing, be in love. All the things that you haven't practiced yet in, in 2020, you want to practice those things in 2021. So we have the three of wands. Of course, you're waiting. That's what you do, Cancer. You wait in the crab shell. You watch people walk by. You see the feet go by, but you're, you're waiting for the perfect time to strike, right? Um, what else do we have here? The Ace of Pentacles, please. Ace of Pentacles, clarified by the Six of Cups. You know what you were stopping here? You were stopping your soulmate from coming in. So this energy that you've been living in for how many years now, Cancer? You've been so stubborn to not move forward, to do something different than you've done before, that you have been um, stopping yourself from something that could be quite lovely. Uh, the Six of Cups is about... Um, 
you know, someone from the past, someone who reminds you of home. And I feel like um, the energy of um, the emotion that you're going to feel when you meet this person, that um, I feel like that's going to be the pentacle you're planting. That thing is going to bloom. And I feel like you guys feel once you meet that you, you're like old friends. They feel like it feels like you've known them forever. And that's what you were that's what you were stopping yourself from. Do you guys see how now you can really damage your your life by not moving forward, by being stuck, you know, stagnant in energy? One more card, please. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. There we go. There's going to be a lot of conversation. Yeah, a lot, a lot of conversation. Um, I feel, feel like there's going to be clarity. You're going to be talking a lot. Maybe you're texting a lot. But I feel like it's going to be conversation, um, maybe over the phone. But I feel like you're waiting for this person to come forward. Um, you're not going to go and grab them and bring them back. But they are going to appear in, in divine timing. And um, really interesting here that we have this soulmate and this clarity, this conversation. Because, right, we have two lovers cards here. Yeah, I feel like this person is... Is not going to leave you behind. They're going to do whatever they can do to get you to come with them. They're not going to leave you behind. And I mean that metaphorically, of course, right? Not not physically. Um, but uh, let's look at the lovers. Clarify the lovers, please. Tell me more about this lovers card. Who could be the lover? <laughs> I can't write this stuff, Cancer. Look, lovers, lovers, lovers. Could it be any more clear? This is major arcana. You cannot go around this. You have to go through this. So you can put it off as long as you want. It's coming regardless. You're just putting it off too long is all. Um, things are not as they appear. Somebody really does love you, but it may not be the person that you're with. I'm just saying. Um, your justice is that you're going to get balance when you meet this person. They could be a Libra. They could be a Gemini. Um, they could be a Cancer like you or Pisces or have it in their chart. Um, this justice card, though, is all about balance. It's about you getting your 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 justice your balance something that's coming through legally perhaps that you've been waiting on um, something that's going to be uh, decided in your favor and it's going to be money or something that's going to make you emotionally happy so ten of cups right ten of cups is happy life happy wife happy everything and i feel like it's going to bring you great joy when it finally does work out um, but you have been you've been capping your joy for so long that it's going to be something that is going to be really magnificent. Look at that. Ten of Cups and the Sun with Justice. You are growing. You're going to grow with this person. You're going to heal each other. The Sun is about you... Um, you know, being able to make great decisions, moving forward in your life, no more stagnant energy because of the healing that you've done and that you have more strength now than you ever did. Gosh, there's lots of major arcana here. I'm telling you, there's going to be big changes this year. And whether or not you have decided that you want to make big changes, the universe is pushing you into those changes because you need them. You need them, Cancer. It's enough, enough of the stagnant energy, I feel. Um, that's what I'm hearing. Um, you're going to be a little bit close to the chest, though. You're not really going to want to do it. But you know what? I feel like spirit is just <laughs> going to be pushing you along, right? Going to be scooping you and pushing you along. Um, I feel like your strength is because of your healing and your healing because of your strength. And um, the sun as well tells me that there's going to be so much in the future for you. We are only in the first few days of 2021. The future is so bright. You better get some sunglasses. I'm just saying it looks great. Um, you know, love, balance, happiness, uh, emotional happiness, apex emotional happiness, not just, hey, I had a my favorite chocolate bar today that made me happy. No, I'm talking about universal happiness. And then we have um, uh, the sun, which is you making great decisions about your life. And um, the uh, healing that you're doing is making you stronger and stronger. Now, do you see why you had to let this person go? They were... Um, they were, you know, the cement on your feet. They were the, the people, they, it's someone who is in a, vibrating in a lower frequency than you, Cancer. And it is, um, 
someone that you needed to let go of in order to fly because you don't have a low frequency. You're intuitive. You feel people's energy, right? Water is a conductor of energy. You feel people's energy and it is about you moving forward in this life. It's not about them. If they don't want to move forward, let them stay where they are. But it's time for you to make um, good decisions this year about things that are going to uh, make you ultimately the happiest. And it's okay if it doesn't make everyone else happy. It needs to make you happy. Not everyone else. It needs to make you happy. All right. We're at the end here. Let's uh, ask for some advice here. Advice for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is the um, Divine Oracle reassess. I believe you're going to reassess this relationship and it's going to be done for a while. Um, unless that person catches up energetically to you, I feel like they're dragging you down. I got my eye on this card right here. It's kind of speaking to me, so I'm going to pull that one. Be patient. It's not going to happen overnight for you, right? You have to take it slow. That's who you are, Cancer. Slowly going with the flow. You know, poking your head out, pulling back in. Like you have to do it at your own pace. So be patient with yourself. I think this is about you reassessing and being patient with you. Gosh, you have so much potential here. And so much, if you don't change these things, these things are going to change you. And you're not going to be happy with it. You're going to be stumbling through life, wondering why you didn't do all of this sooner. Um, and these things are going to be coming at you quickly. They're going to be coming at you quickly, just like the night of... Um, passion here. One more card. Advice. Thank you. Refine your attention. What's most important to you this year? What is the most important? Is it your health? Um, is it your love? Is it your money? Is it just feeling good? But you need to figure out what refining your attention means. Be patient with yourself. You know, change takes time and um, it takes time to be happy. Um, but everything here tells me that this year so far is going to be one of the best. But it's only if you decide that you are going to move forward with conversation with this soulmate and um you know wait on it let them come to you you don't necessarily have to go to them all right cancer gonna go for now thank you very much for coming here for clicking here um i'm gonna go and i'm gonna see you next week see you next monday Bye bye